Hello and welcome to another new video with me, Sam Games, and I'm back here then with another new pack opening a video for you today. And uh, once again, I do apologise, I haven't been uploading as much recently as I've wanted to, I've just been so busy. It has been crazy, but this is a speed pack opening for you, I've done one of these before on uh, this FIFA, I believe, so this is the second one. I am doing now, I'm opening loads of packs, it's sort of almost two pack openings into one, because uh, I end up sort of splitting it up a little bit, and I just didn't uh, end up recording my commentary at the same time, so I sort of just thought I'd do another speed pack opening for you today. Uh, as you can see, starting off here, we actually have loads of free packs, which is uh, what I did from sort of doing loads of foot drafts, didn't do really well, so they weren't the best packs to sort of begin with here, I think I had about 15 or 20 packs, and that's actually a tip for you uh, f for sort of team of the year times to actually sort of stack up packs from foot draft and foot champions of course, and I will actually be doing some uh, foot champions videos, uh, hopefully this weekend and then sort of it will come out next week sometime because foot champions is actually so much fun it is ridiculous it's stressful but it is fun at the same time and of course anyone that is a part of it will know that um last weekend i managed to get into gold two i'm going to try and get into gold two again or potentially gold one if i can we'll just have to see what happens but as you can see we're just flying through some not very good packs to begin with here silver packs not the best, although I am obviously keeping most of these players because you can actually use a lot of them for squad builder challenges, of course, which is really awesome this year. Squad builder challenges and something I also want to bring to the channel a little bit more. But just explaining, I just have not been able to upload as much as I've wanted to. It's just been a little bit stressful recently. Uh, I've sort of had a lot of sort of stuff going on at college. It's been a bit annoying not really had time to uh, sort of play FIFA that much and record at the same time, it's not been ideal, but this is our best pack so far, we get Isco, 84 rated, Real Madrid at uh, Cam there, he's not too bad obviously, could be a little bit better, we could have got someone like Cruz or Modric from Real Madrid, would have been nicer, but still can't complain too much about Isco in that one. And then at this point I actually bought 12,000 FIFA points, so this is almost a 12,000 FIFA point pack opening. This part, um, sort of um, £80 pounds worth of FIFA points is a lot, so I was interested to see what I would get from this. I've actually spent quite a lot on packs so far this year, more than I would say that I have this time last year on FIFA 16, but I have had a lot of good players uh, so far, I can't really complain of packs. I think around about six walkouts maybe, I did actually do a pack opening with two of them uh, in the last one, so if you didn't see that, make sure you check that out, but like I said, I've had a lot of luck, I of course got Hazard in my first ever pack opening, which was insane, um, and I've still actually got him in my club now, although I think I may sell him and buy his inform card, of course, that came out, and of course Kante's inform as well looks disgusting from this week's team of the week. Um, definitely some interesting ones there. We get Charisma, the five star skiller from Portugal. Definitely not too bad, of course. Looking um, 83 rated, he sold for a few thousand coins. Wasn't going to complain too much. Would have preferred, of course, the left winger from Portugal. Um, of course, Ronaldo. I just don't see myself ever packing him, though. No matter how much money I spend, I don't think I'll ever pack Ronaldo. But you never know, it could happen. Hopefully, every team of the year, that is the time. Of course, Team of the Year is not even that far away now, just about two months or so. It will probably go really quickly as well, and those Team of the Year cards will be out. As I say, I'm going to try and do a lot of pack openings over Team of the Year and try and do a lot of squad builders over that time as well. I'm, all, I'm think what I'm going to do is literally start stacking packs from about December time onwards. And there we get our best pack of the whole pack opening, um, which you can't really argue is Philip Coutinho. So at this point, he sells for about 50,000 coins. As well as Conor Polanco in the same pack, you can't really argue with that. Of course, Conor Polanco probably would sell for a bit more if he was still uh, in La Liga, maybe. But I wasn't going to complain too much about him. Um, and then in this pack, we get Codrado, who sells for around about 10k at this point in FIFA. It was like a couple of weeks ago now, so um, I have actually been saving this video for a little while. As I said, just have not had the time to be able to actually sit down for 10 minutes and record a video. It's been that crazy recently but um 
As I say, this is 12,000 feet points. I think we're about 4,000 through at the moment. Our best player, as I say, is Coutinho. Uh, isn't too bad. Well. I would have definitely wanted to get a walkout, though, from 12,000 feet points worth. Um, but as I say, I think my plan is definitely just to start stocking packs over uh, in December for a team of the year. And that is the best time, really, isn't it? If you pack a team of the year, then happy days. Last year, I packed a team of the year, Danny Alves. What pack that was? I think that was from a foot draft pack. So I'm going to look to try and get the same kind of luck this year as well, which will be awesome if I manage to pack one of them. Um, in one of those packs, that'll be amazing. Hopefully, I can. But going back to this pack, and now we're flying through the packs. I haven't really had anyone good uh, in quite a while. It's not been the best pack in the ever. We do get Fernando Torres, of course. I would have preferred to get him like about four or five years ago, but never mind. He's not the worst player to get in a pack. I mean, overall, my pack luck, like, as I say, has not been too bad. I can't complain too much. I've had quite a few walkouts. I've had a couple of informs as well. Also, I've had an inform via walkout, which I packed last week. I wasn't actually recording at the time, though, so that isn't ideal. But let me know how your packs have been so far this year, as I get a Mario Mandzukic in that pack. Definitely not the worst one there. And we get Masawaku from West Ham. A decent left-back option, actually, from the BPL. Definitely recommend him. And then we actually pack Normo, uh, normal Theo Walcott there in the left wing. Uh, I think he sells for about 5k his normal card, so that wasn't too bad at all. And we get Diego Lopez and uh, a very popular striker on this year's FIFA, Ben Yedda. Um And, of course, we're going to get another Theo Walcott, which is a little bit crazy uh, there, but yeah, not not the worst pack opening this one. As, as I say, it's a lot of money, 12,000 thief points, but sometimes you get one amazing pack, and sometimes you just get quite a lot of average and crap packs, but overall wasn't going to complain too much, and we're pretty much coming to the end of this video now. I hope you have enjoyed it. As I say, I'm going to aim to be getting more videos out, try and get about two or three videos out a week. Now I'm going to be doing lots more Man United career mode as well as score builder challenges um, and just all kind of good stuff like that so we pack Kiate there and then of course uh, I pack um, right at the end in form and it is an in form probably the first in form from the team of the week that was out at this time um, <coughs> but I can't really complain too much it wasn't in form but that is it for this video hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time goodbye